Welcome to Quick Chats with Jazzy, everyone. I'm gonna be showing y'all things that I bought from Target. I got this little crop shirt. And then I found these, um, these leggings that match perfectly with the crop shirt so i was like okay this is an easy um two-piece set that i could just throw on one day and then i got me a black pair of leggings as well these was on sale some of them they was on sale this was eight dollars the other one was uh twelve dollars the top the tops are five dollars each and then i got just a white one i got me a little tongue scraper because i've been wanting a tongue scraper for a while now and i was like okay let me see if target got a tongue scraper and they do so we're gonna use this to get get all that white stuff off our tongue I got some perfume, well, body mist. This is not perfect. This is body mist. Um, because I just need some more uh, body mist because I'm running out of um, the Bath and Body Works one, and I just need some it at the dorm or whatever. And this one smells really good. It really smells really good. Like, mm, it smells really good. And I'm assuming other people think so as well because this was the last one on the show. I got some shampoo and the deep conditioner. This is, I wish they had the conditioner, but they only had the shampoo and then the deep conditioner one. I always wanted to try this, but I never got, actually got a chance to buy it. But today I just decided to buy it. As for not least, this is one of the biggest purchases that I made and I was so excited to have when I got me a PS5. Y'all, I got me a PS5. I got me a PS5. I got me a PS5, me a PS5 so now I get to play the game. I'm going to play my game. I was so excited to get this because I've been wanting this for a while. And then I finally got it. That I couldn't find it in the stores, but I got me a PS5 now. <laughs> I get to play my game. I get to play my game. But yeah, that's really all I got from Target. Hey guys, so I'm walking to the supermarket right now to get my plants so I can make my hair oil and my rosemary water that you all want to see. All right, guys. So these are the um, this is the rosemary and this is the mint that I use in this brand. Whatever. And as I was saying, you can get your pot of water, and then you're just gonna add a couple of pieces in the water, and then yeah, you add a couple of pieces in the water. Take some of your mint and put that in the water too. And put the whole thing of that in there. And you're gonna let that sit for about. You're gonna let it steam for about um, 20 minutes. So I'm gonna show y'all me making my hot oil treatment, how I make my own oil for the hot oil treatment, right? So the main oil that I use is coconut oil. I use organic coconut oil at that. Um, I like coconut oil, it works for my hair, so. It don't really matter what, what type, type of oils you're using for a hot oil treatment, because you're gonna wash it out anyways, but. Some people 
you know, depending on your hair porosity, you may not use like all these heavy oils, but I don't care because it's just for the oil treatment. I also get this brand of black um, castor oil, and this is a dollar. You get it from Dollar uh, General, Dollar General, or Beauty Spot Store, Family Dollar for a dollar. They also have other ones like this, like tea tree oil that I use too, but for this video, I'm not gonna be putting that in my hair oil treatment because, yeah. The main ingredient is this. I use mostly the coconut oil and that. And then, of course, the plants, the rosemary and mint plant. So I'm gonna show y'all. One of these pots and... Okay. So you're gonna take your coconut oil. You don't have to use these oils, but... And then you're just gonna pour it in there. show y'all how much coconut oil I use. I use that. This is so like oily. So then you're just gonna, you're gonna pour some Jamaican black castor oil in there. You could pour as little or as much as you want. And then you still got some left over your next batch and then you put your plants in there you just put your plants right in that oil It turns dark. The plant is gonna turn dark like it's burning, but it's not burning. You want it to turn dark, that means you're gonna get all the um, minerals and all the good stuff out of the plant into the oil. So, yeah. And then here's the rosemary and mint um, water. I'm gonna turn it down because it is on high. Burning my plants. And I don't want my plants to be burning. You want the oil, you want the rosemary water to sit. See, I only made a little bit of oil because I already have so much oil that yes, yeah, so much. So this is good enough for me to just add it to that applicator bottle, uh, what I already have. See? And this is how the rosemary water is doing. See that it's turning green or like brownish a little bit, but it's not done. And about five minutes is gonna go off, but it's still gonna look like this. In order to get it that purple looking color, you are gonna have to let it sit for a while, like a couple of hours or even overnight. 
to get it like really dark and purplish. And you want it to cool off too, like especially with the oil. Like I know it's supposed to be a hot oil treatment, but you don't want to burn your scalp. So you need to let it cool down before you put this on your head. Do not put this on your head when it's hot and you just took it off the stove. The stove. Like no, don't do that. Let it cool down for like an hour or two. This is not how I warm up my oil. I warm it up another way. All right, I'm about to show y'all how I transfer my my oils, my oil, and my oil. here's the color. You see how it turned purplish? That's how it's supposed to look. You let it sit for a couple hours. The, the more you let it sit, the darker it's gonna get. So this is what I do to make it so I can easily transfer all of the water without spilling it into the thing. I put it in the cup because I don't got no funnel. I don't got no funnel. Y'all, this may be a lot more easier for y'all if y'all had a funnel, but I don't have no funnel. So gotta work, we got to work with at college. And I ain't buying me no funnel, Chrissy. Now, this works for me. Easy to do it this way. All right, you see? Look how dark it was. Y'all gonna see when I was cooking it, it was just brown, like a light brown or greenish. Look, you turn it this color. I'm gonna spray this in my hair. I'm gonna spray this in my hair to blow it out. It means it's going to stay in my hair. I'm going to rinse it out. Some people rinse it out. I don't rinse it out. And it's still more water in here. Still a lot more water. So now, with the oil, I'm transfer in here. Now, y'all see that it's some of the herbs is in there. Y'all could literally, how I do to get all of that. See these little stems? See these little pieces? Drop them in there. That's what I be doing. I like, whip it off like that. Drop them little pieces in there. I'm gonna show y'all again. Break them off. And just put them in there. And just put them in there. This is dried rosemary because it's cooked. That's all I do. And there you go. Got your hot oil treatment. Boom. And you got you some rosemary water to leave into your hair. Now you could, for rosemary water, spray it in your hair. Leave it in for like a couple of minutes, 15 to 30 minutes, and then rinse it out. But I don't rinse it out. I leave it in because you can leave it as a leave-in conditioner. Well, you could leave it in and blow dry your hair with it like i do and it helps with the shine and stuff like that got you some oil boom look oil and rosemary boom rosemary mint wash my hair with the Mayel 
um, rosemary mint shampoo and deep conditioner. They did not have the actual conditioner at the Target that I went to. So we're just gonna work with these two things. They did have the hair oil drops, but I already make my own rosemary mint um, hair oil, which I put in my hair already, so I don't have to buy it because that is the same thing, in my opinion. So yeah, they're gonna see me wash my hair with these two products and do a little review because I always want to try it um this um edition but i never got a chance to and this time i will
So I just got out the shower. I just finished with the uh, rinsing out the deep conditioner. And this is the result of everything. Hey, look at it. Look at those curls. Look at them. All right. So yeah. Um, I like the um rosemary mint shampoo and deep conditioner, especially the shampoo. The con the deep conditioner. I don't. I don't know. Like what what to say really about it. Like yeah, it works good, but that shampoo. Oh boy, when you like the way I smoothed, it was just like running through my scalp and just like my hair. I'm like, oh, it never been like this easy. Like it wasn't like drying out my hair. Some shampoos like could be drying out my hair and it would be getting all tangled and like knotted everywhere. But no, not that. It was like really good. The deep conditioner, I can't really. I don't know. Maybe I gotta keep using it, but it, I don't know. It just seemed like a regular deep conditioner i mean i use her other uh, brand with the protein one and it and it just seems like it worked just as much as that one like so i don't know like really much what to say about that it is it's good i like it would i use it again yes would i continue to buy her products yes and i'm gonna continue to using that shampoo because that that shampoo that shampoo does the job so yeah I'm gonna just blow dry and straighten my hair like I always do. You already see me do a video on that. So if you wanna know how I do that, you can go check out that video if you have it. So yeah.